Hi everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you're keeping safe. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sue and thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I am going to share with you the perfect pizza dough and how to make your own pizza at home. So here are my ingredients that I'll be using for my dough. And guys, if today is your first time joining me on my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so when I upload in a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Here I've got my warm water and I'm just going to add one tablespoon of sugar. I'm going to mix that in to make sure it's well dissolved and I'm going to prove my dry yeast. So I'm adding the dry yeast and I'm going to also mix well till is dissolved and I'm going to leave aside to activate. And in my bowl I've got the flour in here. I'm going to add my other dry ingredients to it. So my oregano and my um, garlic powder and salt. The garlic powder and oregano are optional, but trust me, it's a must try in this recipe. And I'm just going to mix all together to make sure it's well combined. So my yeast is well looking perfect and I'm just going to add two teaspoons of olive oil. Now olive oil goes a long way in this recipe. It's easy to stretch out the dough. It gives extra amazing flavor to the dough or to the pizza and also prevents it from becoming soggy when baked. So I love adding olive oil to my pizza dough. However, you don't have to it's optional but try it and let me know what you think so I've added that to my flour and I'm just going to mix well till a dough is formed and I also have about half a cup of water on the side that I will be using it so I'm just going to go in with my hand to mix well and then I'm going to transfer to my wet top. And I'm just going to knead for about 10 minutes. Guys, believe me, I think I have actually developed or built some muscles here just from the kneading. <laughs> It's fun, really. It's actual fun. I don't know what you think about that, but <laughs> with this lockdown, um, I feel like I want to work out. So, needing the dough is um, it's time for me to work out my arms. I'm joking. That's not true. So, once this is done, I'm going to transfer into my bowl, grease with some oil. And I'm just going to leave it for just over one hour to rise. I'm going to cover with some cling film and just leave aside in a warm place. So while I'm waiting for my dough to rise, I'm also going to go in and start preparing my sauce, the base. All I'm using is some diced chopped tomato salt oregano black pepper and i'm adding some oil to it i'm going to mix that together and then cook on a medium heat for about eight minutes then i'll set that aside to cool down for later and this is how my dough is looking i'm just going to punch to make sure the eggs release and then I'm going to transfer back onto my wet top 
I will divide this into three sizes. You can divide into two depending on how big you want your pizza to be. And then I'm just using my hand to flatten the dough and um, I will also use my rolling pin to roll it or to make it a little bit flat to my desired shape. And I've placed that on my baking pan or pizza pan and I'm still trying to flatten the edges to make it even but it doesn't matter if you don't get it perfect as you can see I'm not going to get it perfect but hey ho a pizza is a pizza <laughs> so I'm just brushing the top with some more olive oil for extra flavor and then I'm going to add my tomato base to that um, I will repeat the process for all the other two doughs. So I'm just adding my tomato, spreading that across. As you will notice, I'm not going to use amazing toppings in this. Um, recipe. I'm just. I just want it to be simple, just as that. So all I'll be using is some pepperoni and or salami, and then I'll be using um, some prosciutto and tomato. That's all I'll be using for my toppings. And of course, do not forget the cheese. I'm using some mozzarella and. Uh, no more cheese so I'm adding some mozzarella on the top and some parsley and add it when the pizza is almost cooked but I am gonna go in or I am adding it at the start So I'm just repeating the process for all my doughs and or pizza dough, call it whatever you want to call it, and then add the toppings to it. And don't forget to preheat the oven on the highest for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to reduce to 200 degrees and bake my pizza for 20 minutes. So I'm going to pop that in there after 20 minutes this is how they are looking fantalicious amazing and it tastes delicious and you don't have to always buy pizza from outside you can make your own pizza right in your house from scratch and thank you so much for watching thank you for stopping by do not forget to subscribe do not forget to support my channel and enjoy